On today's episode, we're going to balance a stock 6.2 crank for some lightweight aftermarket pistons. Stay tuned. So this is a stock 6.2 crank and they're using uh, Gen 4 floating rods and we bought a Mala piston, a Mala Forge piston with uh, one millimeter rings. So, and this is uh, for a good customer of ours in Virginia, Mark Giles. And so I'm pretty sure they're building uh, like a LSA deal, a blower deal. And um, you know, the factory 6.2 pistons usually come in around 500, 510 grams. And these pistons are like four, I ain't got it pulled up. They're like 440 or 50. They're, they're really light and the ring package is like 22 grams and a stock ring package is mid, mid to high thirties, I believe. So uh, we've already spun it once just to see where it's at. And it's, uh, the counterweights are pretty heavy, about 30 grams heavy, which is, which is good. And it's pretty consistent, and we'll spin it and let you see the computer, but it's pretty consistent end to end. And that's more, so the left and right side being even is is probably as important as the, the total balance being out because, you know, if one side is different than the other, then those two forces are, are trying to counteract one another. So, uh, so we'll spin it up and let you see what it's wanting us to do and then we're going to correct it and we'll spin it again and, and you can see that whole process. Alright, so... Spin. So, I mean, you can see, I mean, it's, it's super close left to right. It's just 30 grams out. So we've got all our, our data and let's see. So right here, yep. So here you can see where we tell it, you know, what size drill we're gonna use, the maximum depth, the, the correction radius, basically from the center line of the crank to the top of the counterweight and the software will figure, you know, depth and, and where and what rotation we need to drill to correct it. So we've got our first hole is right there at 160 degrees on the rear counterweight. So we're going to go ahead Let me zero my drill. All right, so we got to drill 761 thousandths deep on the first hole. Put us a rag in here so we don't get anything in the oil hole. So I went 750, it's calling, it's calling for 761, so I'll just, a little shy, because we can always take some more, but we can't put it back, well, we can put it back, but it ain't nearly as fun. Uh, and our second hole is at 175 degrees.
Uh, we'll come over to the front side and correct it. times balancing this stuff you know you wonder how much how much is 30 grams well 30 grams is two half inch holes three quarters of an inch deep so I mean that's that's a pretty good bit of material so we're going to save our initial condition so we can see it on the bob white sheet it'll show us what it was before we balanced it and what it is after all right, so I'm gonna spin it again and I'm gonna see how close that got us. So I mean, yeah, 3.4 on one side, 4.6 on the other. Yeah, we still just a little heavy on the counterweight side. I, I, I went a little shallow just to make sure. Uh, while we're over here, we're gonna get this side first so it wants us to put a little peck right there. So uh, that got us to 1.76 on one side and 1.75 on the other. So I mean, ultimately we could stop right there. It's under two grams. Uh, two grams is, is more than enough for pretty much anything. 
but normally on you know ray stuff we get it down to half a gram so well, we're going we're gonna to keep on and we're going to bring it down under a gram for sure. So, so we're going, we're going uh, way over here. So we're going to go and get this side. And it's wanting us to put another hole slightly further away than we did the hole we just drilled. But <clears throat> I'm not going to do that. I'm going to put it in the same hole. And, and and we'll work it out. I'll show you how that how that'll pan out. Uh, so it only wants seventy nine thousandths deep. Uh, so that's sixty. We're going to stop at 60 on this side. And it's pretty much the same way on the other side. It wants it just off of where we just did one. Same deal, I went 60 on that side too. So we'll spin it one more time, or maybe we won't. Well, we, may, we may spin it two more times, but but like I said, we'll 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 get it under a gram, no problem. So there it is right there. So we got 0 0.32 of a gram on the left side and basically a quarter of a gram on the right side. So, I mean, pretty much we're not gonna, I mean, we, I guess we could, but we, we're not gonna fool with that anymore. So that's pretty much perfection. And that's what we do on, on most race stuff. I mean, we'll get it under half a gram. And the reason, so the, the whole, um, zero balance deal I hear you know can you zero balance and and it's I mean it's just fantasy land and the reason is is this whole entire rotating assembly is covered with oil it's always covered with oil and the amount of oil here or there is always different so all we can do is make the base components balance out in the assembly and make sure end to end is correct. And, and and that's all we can do because the oil, I mean, we add some for oil, but again, the amount of oil and where it's at is changing throughout the cycle. So you could never, you could never actually be zero balance. It's just, it's just more internet fantasy. So, um, but basically that's how we do it. And I mean, you see it took, you know, two pretty decent holes and one, you know, really small hole on both ends to bring it in. So when you buy, you got a stock crank, you know, five, three, whatever, six, oh, and you buy aftermarket pistons and rods, that weight is going to change tremendously. And it could, it could go either way. So if the stuff is heavy, then we have to actually add uh, heavy metal into counterweights to, to, compensate or if it's light like this one we can take it away and obviously putting it in is is much more difficult and expensive than than this method but uh the i'm sure i got some coming up we got some stroker stuff coming so the next time we do one that's got to have heavy metal 
I'll make sure we do a video and show you how we figure for heavy metal, how the heavy metal is installed, and then, you know, the, the whole balancing process. So thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Check out the website, powerwallmachineinc.com. Have a great day. We thank you so much.